Senyo here, Schultz Outfitters. I'm pretty excited to talk to you guys today about the new line of chenilles that I did through Montana Fly Company. It's the new Super Satin Chenilles, which come in a cactus and a polar cactus in three sizes, everything from 10, 20, and 30 millimeter with the uh, polars coming in a size large and a size medium. So those kind of match your standard chenilles and stuff that are already out there. What's the cool stuff about this? Well, you finally have a chenille that has no flash, no glare. It's a matte finish on a micro cord. So it's easy to blend. Like the whole purpose with this is to dull the flies down. I know you probably think I'm crazy. The guy that ties with a ton of flash. It's kind of because I didn't have the options to go the other way. Now I can blend both worlds. I can add and mix or I could go straight no flash and, and uh, enjoy the color aspect of fly design again. So today the whole point is for me just to show you some simple techniques on some of my favorite patterns as you're noticing already in social media and other places out there. Guys are already adapting this stuff into their streamer tying, their saltwater tying, their steelhead tying. It's just a new and cool exciting material for us all to use. All right so one of the easy and first things off the bat is yes you could use this material as a standalone it's a it's a it's it's soft enough yet firm enough that it would work for a head it worked for a collar it works for a body just depending on the size that you want to use i use this in my game changers and and crayfish and everything else already but like what are some of the ways you could change it up and adapt it to use with the materials you got today well you can start blending your your colors nice and easy so here we have the 30 millimeter and I'm gonna add some 10 to it and this just happens to be a white and amber so I'm gonna take those two right there okay and uh, if you guys follow me enough you know that I'm real big on these uh, gator clip tools so any corded material you know this stuff works out great so and if you notice if you look at this it's that micro core so it's really small that this is spun into to make a chenille. So when you mix these with other chenilles or another color, it keeps that body inside nice and thin. You know, we don't want to add a ton of bulk, you know, but like, like I said, it's just a simple fix is to take it and spin it. And you can already see that you can tone out the colors. And yeah, I brush everything. Just get those loose fibers, get them out. So that's a simple, easy way to add this. You imagine that as a pink, you know, or, or one of a number of colors. You know, it's a simple little easy woolly bugger body now. So I can just unclip this, move my thread out of the way, and literally just use both hands, just prune it back, and get a really nice underbody. So whether you're building a collar or body, whatever. There you go. Kind of gives it that eggy kind of look. So if you notice, you could two-tone them. So you get a nice depth of thing, get that translucency where the color pops out from the core. Just like you would on a minnow. So like the next version or another idea that you could use with this stuff to improve your fly tying. So we're going to take some of that 30. So this is 30 millimeter in the cactus. I'm going to add that. I'm going to take some of our, the, the standard true and tried polar. Cut a piece of that off. You know, say you do want to add a little bit of flash, but you don't want to overdo it. And you want to add some body to it you know this will give you that extra depth that you need to make a really really good collar you know think all your favorite steelhead flies or trout flies where you're putting a big heavy collar on the front you know, especially like your swung flies so you take this like i said using my gator clip tool locking those together again give it a good spin Make sure you brush it out so you don't lose the, the length of the fiber. 
I don't think you realize how subdued that this will get now. So check that out. So just a nice sparse, wraps that in there perfect, you know. So here's it, it by itself up here. But you see how nice that puts that together. So now I'm just going to unclip it. Just going to show you what that looks like. To wrap that. Now it just gives you that subtle spaced out flash aspect. You know, so think of, like for me, like um, artificial intelligence and other steelhead flies or intruders, I give myself that real nice under collar. And I'm just gonna brush it, make sure all those fibers are out. So see, now you got that nice subtle, subtle flash to it. And that's just two, two ways to show it right off the bat. And let's take it even a step further. You know, you wanna add some rubber legs and that kind of dynamic to, uh, to the pattern. So we'll take, uh, we'll take some 10. I'm just gonna use this pink because it will show up really nice. Cut off some of this pink, we're gonna put that on there. And then uh, let's add a little bit of uh, the white. Or actually, let's go blue. Let's go blue, let's give it some of that sugar pop. There we go. I'm gonna put that on. So now I'm going to lock this so I can use it more as like a fake dubbing loop. Okay. So see how I got fingers through here, right? There's your loop. Okay. So you see that? It's nice, easy to open. So let's take uh, take some rubber legs here. Let me. Uh, Cut a little piece off here. Grab a little handful just to stick them in. So let's open that loop, stick those rubber legs in, pull them across, get that thread out of the way. So there, I got rubber legs in there, right? So you see that? So I just stuck those rubber legs in there and I just spread them out a little bit by hand. Okay? That loop and that material wants to hold it. So make sure that they're where you want them spacing wise. Spin them out. You'll see it will lock all those rubber legs in there. Nice and easy like. See that? So instead of two stepping it, now I can just take those rubber legs and wrap them. You know, gotta use both hands. Gotta make sure you push them back. But you know, I think of making circus peanuts or any other fly like a that then uses rubber legs. Just showing you how that dynamic will come out. So there we go. Got the rubber legs in, they're locked in place. Nice and easy like. Now there's three easy examples to uh, tie your favorite flies using the new satin chenilles. You know, just for an example, you know, doing different, different color combinations on crayfish with that as the underbody, no flash involved, just naturals, see, circus peanuts. Did the head on these, no flash, my game changers. I like to do a little smaller version. This is done with my dubbing, but also if you look in the inside, that's all the uh, satin chenille. So just to give you an example of uh, all the cool stuff that you can do. I mean, this is just making it easy and this isn't even including all the simple flies like eggs, woolly buggers and everything else and including salt water. So I know mean, you guys that like to tie crabs, shrimp, redfish flies, that kind of stuff. This is definitely going to be in the wheelhouse for you. So I hope you enjoy. New satin chenille is available. 
here at Schultz Outfitters through Montana Fly Company. Like I said, first of several new cool things to come in the future. Um, I hope you guys dig it.